The Lord is good. All the time. The Lord is good. Uh, I'm going to take some screaming, welcoming my father, my leader, my president. So I'm going to take maybe 30 minutes. Uh, I don't know whether you're aware of that. That one can take 30 minutes welcoming somebody. Jesus was going up unto heaven. 
record, principalities and powers, whatever the spirit in the second heaven, people preach much about some spirits that block prayers in the second heaven. I thank God that when Jesus was ascending up unto heaven, he met those spirits, whatever that was here, but they could not block Jesus. Yes. In fact, they had to bow down unto Jesus in worship. Because no one can block Jesus. And the Bible says, you as a church, we have to grow up unto him. When you're growing up unto him, you pass through second heaven. When God's spirits are there, try to block you. But when you pass through second heaven, because Jesus the head is in the third heaven. Yes. You cannot reach third heaven without passing through second heaven. That's it. So when you're growing up unto him, you pass through second heaven. What will happen in the second heaven? They will pass. Yes, yeah. 
kingdom come. Let what will be done on earth as it is in heaven. There is no sickness in heaven. Let what will be done on earth as it is in heaven. There is no harm in heaven. Let what will be done on earth as it is in heaven. There is no struggle in heaven. Let what will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yes.
You can't be sent in the church to be a foreign dumb machine. No. You didn't get me well. I'm saying you can't be sent in the church as an usher or whosoever to be a foreign dumb machine no. every time you come to the pulpit. How come the rest are not foreign time? Ask yourself a question. Why are you falling down every Sunday? And the pastor is not falling down. Hey! Hey! Come on. Jesus said, I want to speak what I hear my father speak. 
energy. Come on. Oh, that's good. Today's message you hear from your teachers and daughters, smokers, when you're preaching, they grab her, they shout and say, Go on, Papa, preach on fornicators and daughters. How can they say, Go on, Papa, when you're preaching? It means something wrong. You are preaching what they expected to hear. That's it. Yeah. He is disarmed. Right. 
He uses your mind. He uses your unbelief. When he sees you down, he says, that's an opportunity. Because he is disarmed. When he sees you sick and say, I don't know where I'm going to be. I'm going to be healed. I say, yes, you want to be healed. He uses you. Yes. Yeah. You want to know the devil's people? You are his people.
They repent before they get into that building. God forgive me, God forgive me. When they get out of that building, oh. they think that they have to go in that building and they go out there sitting and do whatever. Oh. That's good. This is apostolic teaching here. Yeah. Oh God. Come on, son, preach it. God shall us. Let me tell you, we are going everywhere. No one will stop us. Yes. We are this church, oh. this so-called church. We are putting back the right foundation. Because the foundation has been destroyed. Ah. The foundation has been destroyed. Oh God. God should help us. God will stand with us. Some people won't like us. Some people will hate us. Others will never give us the opportunity. But it doesn't matter. There was a time when Paul could not be given a pulpit, But he could take the disciples out of that group and to himself. That's what he will do. Even if you don't give us the pulpit, if we meet two or three neighbors of your church and they believe, we can take them with us. I will build them from them. God said we are not we, 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 we are stealing the ship. It's not a matter of stealing the ship. It's a matter of raising the disciples. Hey. We take over the earth. We are going to take over the world. We are moving forward and we are unstoppable. This is a postulate. Yes! We don't preach to make people happen. We preach to preserve God. Instead of Him preaching directly, we are the one doing the job for Him. Hallelujah. Yeah. We also Woo! Awesome. This is a This is a we are different. We may not be loved. We may not be liked. But we are here to do our father's business. Oh. Brothers and sisters, I know that God has called you for a purpose. Don't be like Papa. Be the way God. That's it. Be. Sometimes we change even our voice. <laughs> and we want to be like Papa, even the way we speak. No, don't do that. But my brother, I'm not Dr. Kalafi. No. And Dr. No. Kalafi is not me. No. I'll never try to be like him. No. He has got his own grace. You're great in you. In of calling. Mm -hmm. I've got my own personal Absolutely. grace. Yeah. I'm going to be myself. Yeah, I'm going to remain the way God called me. Yeah. He's going to remain the way God called him. Yeah. And yet still remains my mentor and my father. Yeah. That will never change. Definitely. May you be yourself. God, come. I've seen the way people dress. I've seen the way people come and say, you, 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 they resemble their papa. It's not all about that. It's about yourself. What is your calling? Do you know yourself? Do you know who you are? That's it. Time has come. Where they've come to pray and say, God, I want to understand my God. Make me the way he called me to be. Praise and worship. Let's all raise up our hands. Praise and worship. Let's all raise up our hands.
great calling, such a wonderful calling. But we missed it because we wanted to be like someone else. Absolutely. We talked to God and said, God, tell me exactly who I am. Who are you, Paul? Talk to God like that. It's about you. It's about your personal ministry. It's about your personal calling. You have to discover who you are. You are something else. God wants to use you by in such a way that you never expected. He is the great God. He is here for you. He said, when two or three come in my name, I'll be there that there is. Behold, the Lord the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? He is here. God is here. He loves you. He cares much about you. He cares much about you. John 15 said, If you are hiding me, and the ways of hiding you, ask anything you want, it shall be done to you. He's here for you. Talk to him. 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 You missed something. You really missed something. Talk to him. Father, we say to you, Lord, forgive us. We try to push ourselves to be like somebody else. We call us because there is no shame. Lord, forgive us. Bring us back to our own. Thank you. 